Cleary battling again, but Robertson getting it clear, and now Gilmore spreads it out to Robertson. This is good from Scotland. Robertson on the counter. He's got John McKinn with him. Goes to his left. Body's in the box. McTominay is in. Takes a deflection. Scotland take the lead. Scott McTominay, their top scorer in qualifying for the Euros, is their opening scorer at the Euros. Scott McTominay's deflected efforts gives the Totten Army the lead. Scotland leading Cologne. Rudiger to step in. And now here's Musiala, tries to blend through for Gundogan, and the block in there. Really good defending. Referee's not giving the foul, it's one back by Germany, and it's forced in. Jamal Musiala, the first to react in there, just as Hungary thought they defended it well. Given back to Germany, and Jamal Musiala gives Germany the lead. That's his second goal in the tournament. He becomes the first player to score more than once in the tournament. Go for the 1 2 with Bellingham. Christiansen completely unsighted and finds Kyle Walker here. Walker with a cutback. Harry Kane with a tap in. Terrible defending from Denmark and England take the advantage. Harry Kane. Empty net of the back post. They just tap it in past Kasper Schmeichel to give England the early advantage. Ball shot from distance. Oh, it's in. Wow. Where's that come from? What a hit by Morton Gilmant. My goodness me. That is sensational. You can't believe it. You just can't believe it. That is incredible. From about 30 yards, Morton Gilman has just rocketed one off the inside of the left post, beating Jordan Pickford in the process. And Denmark are back on level terms. Arnautovic slots it in the bottom right corner. Chesney dives the wrong way. And Captain Arnautovic could be leading Austria to a huge three points in the German capital. Group D could be seeing Austria as its third best team. And they're back in the mix indeed. Chesney couldn't do much about the second one, but give away the penalty that ultimately leads to a third goal for Austria. The next goal was crucial, and it was the Austrian captain to slot into the bottom right corner. Coolly taken by the very experienced Marko Arnautovic to give Austria a two goal advantage. Beyond that six, and Albania realistic probability they're creating chances. They might just nick a late equaliser here. Maybe, just maybe. Through the lines, that's a lovely ball. The cutback. Oh, it's not that way, it's in! The man who got the goal that gave Croatia the lead, an own goal, has got his side back on level terms. That is a huge moment for Albania. For a while there, they felt they were getting nothing out of this. But they've never given up. They fought to the death. And they could have got their just rewards for it. Klaus Jesula, the man to finish. The line, Shaparenko does well. Picks up the loose ball in space. Chops it over the top, looking for Uremchuk. Oh, and it's rolled and in. Bundled its way into the net. And it's Roman Uremchuk. And Ukraine have the turnaround in Dusseldorf. Could be a huge three points for Ukraine. Musiala, right in the corner, finds Middlestadt. Cross back, Gundogan 2 0. Swiper of a goal from Ilkay Gundogan. And the German captain doubles the German lead. And they're just 24 minutes away from the knockout stages being confirmed for the hosts. Find the inside channel to find the run of Shakiri, but well closed down. Although that's a great, an awful pass back in the shot, the goal. Wonderful goal from distance from Sheridan Shakiri. 
well capable of it. And he's buying the back of the net to level the game. Sheridan Shakiri. Wonderful goal. And Scotland's lead. Chalked out. 1 1. Come from a poor pass initially by Rodriguez. Scotland just gets too comfortable with it. Ralston's pass back across the defence is poor. Just weak. And striding onto it with pure class was Sheridan Shakiri. The finish is glorious.